So the Galaxy Watch is a great companion for your Galaxy smartphone. However, there are some things that I really just can't stand about this watch. Let's dig in. Hey, this is Tech Jungle. Here we discuss news, reviews, and update information on some of the wonderful technology existing in our world today. And one piece of wonderful technology is the Samsung Galaxy Watch. However, today, I am talking about three things that I hate about this watch. Let's get started. The first thing that I hate about this watch has to do with the display. Now, Samsung makes the best displays in the market when it comes to smartphones. And this smartwatch is bright and it's colorful and it's vibrant. The colors pop on this watch and I love it. However, one of the things that held me back from getting the Gear S3 was the resolution. Okay. When I went to the store and I, and I held my watch, I'm sorry, when I went to the store like Best Buy and I held my phone up to the watch, you could tell the difference. Okay, you could see the pixels. You can see the pixels on this watch. You can see the pixels on the Gear S3. You can't see pixels on the Note 8, or the Note 9, or the S9, or S8. They're just not there. The displays on those watches are sharp. All right, the pixel density is high. So Samsung, why is this pixel density so low? It's under 300. I believe it's a 360 by 360 display that pushes out about 278 pixels per square inch. Okay, that's low. That's low in today's market. And Samsung really wants to simulate a real time piece. And one of the things that takes me out of that simulation is when I look at the watch and I can see the individual pixels. I don't wanna see that. I wanna see a display that is so sharp, I can't distinguish pixels. And once we get to that, once we get to that generation of smartwatch for the, for the Galaxy Watch, then I am a true believer and I will not look at any other watches out there. So that's my first rant. Samsung, you've got to, you've got to beat Apple. Apple is, has a better screen right now. Their, their Apple Watch, their screen resolution is well above 300. I believe it's almost close to 350. Okay, it's sharp. You've got to get up there. You've got to get, I would say, even go to 400 pixels per inch. I know you may sacrifice battery life, which is not a big deal to me because I charge this watch every night. And even the 42 millimeter has a pretty good battery. As you can see, we're at 50% here. I'm recording about 6 p.m. I've had this watch on since 7 a.m. Okay, so it has decent battery life. It has all day battery life. Bump up that screen resolution. Thank you. My second rant has to do with third party integration, third party apps like Google. Now I know most of you, you have a Samsung smartphone or you have another Android phone or even an iPhone. And a lot of us rely on Google Maps, Google Play Music, and Google Assistant. So why don't we have these three awesome apps on this phone, on this watch? We have to have them on here. I rely on those so much on my smartphone that when I want to pull up an app on here, I can't because it's not there's not an app for it. I know. Spotify is a great app, but I'm not subscribed to, to Spotify. I'm subscribed to Google Play Music because when you subscribe to Google Play Music, it removes ads on YouTube videos, right? So that's, the, uh, that's my preferred music provider. When I am driving to a new location that I haven't been to before, or I'm driving to work and I want to know how long it takes to get to work, I'll pull up my maps. There's not an integrated map, Google map on this watch. There's nothing in the play store. There's, you know, other developers who try to simulate, you know, getting the same type of feel and look 
of Google Maps, but it's not actual Google Maps. So my second rant is Samsung, allow Google to make its apps available for this watch. I'm telling you, a lot of people would love to have Google Assistant on this smartwatch. It would make this watch one of the smartest watches out there. Okay. And my third ramp, it has to do with the second rant, and that is Bixby. Bixby is complete trash on this smartwatch. I'm sorry, but it is. Let's, I have the, um, a third party timer on here, right? There's an app. Let's go to apps here. I have the stopwatch, right? So here you can set a timer here, right? That's what it is, the timer. Let's, let's try to do that, okay? Hi, Bixby. Set a timer for five minutes. Just thinking about it. Oh, look at that. Okay, success. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Hi, Bixby. Set a timer for five minutes. Thinking, it's thinking. Okay. Oh. So as you can see, that was a 50-50. It's really 75-25. And the amount of times that it does not work to the times that it actually works. You know, when, when you're really in a pinch and, or you're, you're moving around, I'm cooking dinner. I wanna set a timer for getting my meal out of the oven. I wanna be able to say, hey, set a timer for 10 minutes. I can walk away, you know, walk the dog, do whatever, but I can't do that. I can't rely on Google. I'm sorry. I can't rely on Bixby to get it done because it just doesn't work all the time. Let's try it again. Hi, Bixby. Set a, re set a reminder for 3 p.m. on Friday to make a video about the Galaxy Watch. Okay. I get this error message a lot more than I would like to see. Okay, so that is really my last gripe about this smartwatch. Get rid of Bixby Samsung. I can't stand it on here. It's not true Bixby, which Bixby is okay, but it's not Google Assistant. And that's what I want on this watch. And I don't care if it eats up a little bit of battery. I wanna be able to have an efficient, fully functioning smartwatch on my wrist, okay? So those are my three rants about the Galaxy Watch. Other than that, it's a great companion for your Samsung smartphone, okay? And really, when you get this watch, you're really getting it to, to pair it with, you know, your Note 8, your Note 9, or your S8 or S9. Uh, I think it's the best watch for those phones. However, Samsung, you're not done yet. You can improve, so please improve. All right, thank you for watching. This is Tech Jungle. Please subscribe below. I'll have more content about the Galaxy Watch and other great products that exist in our tech jungle. So stay tuned and y'all take care. All right, bye.